Alright, welcome back everybody. So, today I want to talk about another NPC. Uh, NPC dialogue, that is. So, I saw that they have a secret pass uh, conversation that you can have. Conversation, whatever you want to call it. It says, if you look carefully in the mountains of this kingdom, you might come across a pass that can cut days off your travel. Okay. So, I found two places that this could be referring to specifically. Uh, like we've learned before with Enchanting and the Pirate's Treasure, the NPCs are a little bit hit and miss. Sometimes they're spot on, sometimes they're not. So, you can take this to mean one of two things, and then decide on what you think the actual answer is, okay? So, the criteria here is that it has to actually mechanically, meaning not in a roleplay sense, but as the game is, mechanically, reduce travel time by days. And what I think that this could be referring to if we take kingdom to mean well, this map, effectively, uh, the Frozen Highlands in the Whitecap area. Way down here, there is what I could consider a secret pass that does cut days off your travel. So, right next to these uh, fountains, wells, or you want to call them, there's this one area next to these red trees. You can walk up, no jumping, just walk straight up, and there you go. You're over in, uh, well, the southern part of Craigspire, in the actual Craigspire part of the world. Uh, now, see, I think this could be considered a secret pass because you can just walk no falling damage, and you just bypassed an entire mountain. So, why do I think this could be one of the answers? So, mechanically, this is cutting days off your travel, assuming you're trying to get to Castle Craigspire, okay? So, if you were to follow the roads or take, uh, you know, I guess in a roleplay sense, take the roads via horse, the stables, right? You would theoretically, I could probably show you this on the map, you'd be starting here in Whitecap, and then I'm hoping you can see my mouse. You'd be following this road all the way south, and that would lead you into Freehaven. You'd come out over here, Pass through Freehaven, and then over to Blackspire. And that same road comes to Black's, uh, Blackshire, and then goes north, and that ultimately puts you effectively in Castle Craigspire. So there you go. If you want to go from Whitecap, the city, all the way to Craigspire, it would take days and days. Uh, it'd be five days to travel to the south, five more days to travel to the west, an additional five days to travel north. So you're looking at 15 days. So if you were to use that pass, which I would consider fairly secret, uh, fairly secret, and I'll show you why it's not quite so secret. It's cutting 10 days off your travel. Mechanically, that checks out. And that's also on the assumption that when you say kingdom, you mean that map specifically. Now that falls apart a little bit because the kingdom of Inroth is owned by the Iron Fist, right? So I think it could mean more. And now this might be a bit hard to see. Uh, if you look up at the mini-map, there are these two spots on the mountain that 
kind of sort of line up with the pass a little bit not super super well but you can even kind of see what I mean you know that right there is effectively white cap uh, you can't see the trees but you can still kind of get the gist of it so with all that I think that this might be the secret pass it's referring to however there's a second one that is a lot less fun but also could be it it could be referring and once again if you can see my cursor this pass right here which is also saving you days and transitioning regions of Inroth. This pass is a lot less secret in my opinion, but given all the, I guess, ability of the game, this could be it. Now, the thing is, this secret pass, which, well, let me show you the whole thing. It's this uh, little crack in the mountain from behind uh, what I think is called Edenbrook. I think that's the name of the town through the mountains, and then it transitions into Dragon Sand, the region, not the map. And then there you go. Because to get to Dragon Sand, you could travel south to Hermit's Isle, and then you follow the road more, and I can show you that too. You travel south to, oh, I don't have Hermit's Isle. To the south we go. Well, that was a small blunder on my part, but it's okay. You could you would travel south via the western road over there. It's actually in Pleasant Valley. And that would switch you out in Hermit's Isle. And so we should be coming up on it right about now. There we go. And then you're in Hermit's Isle. And now, to get to Dragon Sand, you have to follow this same road that we're on right now, all the way around, and back up. But that's going to put you in the Dragon Sand region, which we're already in the Dragon Sand region. Over here is still Pleasant Valley, over in uh, this brown corner, however you want to think about it. This is the Dragon Sand region. Following the road, it's going to spit us out back in uh, Paradise Valley. Okay? But then you can keep following the same road, and that's going to spit you out ultimately, and I can teleport for this one, down here. Or I guess through Blackshire and then here. So. In a mechanical sense, that's still cutting off some time, because you'd have to travel south from Edenbrook, which is in Paradise Valley, to Hermit's Isle, and then travel to the north again, back to Paradise Valley, east, so we're already at 15 days, and then south again, to Blackshire, and then Dragon Sand. And that's going to spit you out here after what, about 20, 15 or 20 days. So either one of those could be what that guy's referring to up here in white cap. I don't know which one it's actually referring to. I personally believe that it's referring to the Valley of the Titans. I like to think though that maybe it is referring to that first one I showed you. Um, to back that up just a little bit more to make sure things are clear, White Cap, or I guess the Frozen Highlands as a region, this is White Cap, the city. The region of White Cap, it extends a little bit farther. So White Cap goes all the way over here into Northern Craigspire. And so Northern Craigspire is still White Cap, the region. Depending on how you look at it, and I don't know the name, the exact region that Craig Spire falls into, that's more or less a separate map. So, however you want to look at that one, 
there are secret passes, uh, more or less, if you just teleport around and fly and all those cool things. None of this will ever really apply to you, but in the off chance that you choose to, uh, I can't remember the word for it, but uh, diegetically, I think the word is, travel through the world, these passes would save you time. Uh, alternately, there is a chance that what he's referring to is that... Uh, well, he's a pirate, but... Yeah, he's a pirate. But guides and things... Uh, that's a gypsy. Well, oops. Those guys can help you cut time off uh, explaining how they do their job. Because, you know... In a uh, sense, although you just kind of walk and then it's five days, it uh, it's supposed to represent, you know, traveling down this road it takes days and days and days, and you can learn that from the uh, guidebook thing that comes with the game. On GOG, there's a PDF you can read through. There might be a physical copy with some versions of the game if you have that. Depending on how you want to look at it. But either which way... Those are the two secret passes that I believe fit this role. Uh, I couldn't really find any others. So if anybody else knows of any, I guess, real time-saving methods, I'd be interested to hear it. Uh, feel free to leave those in the comments. If we can talk about those, I can look into it for you. The uh, last bit that I want to talk about is... I would kind of like to do this with more NPC dialogues and just see what the validity is. And I'd kind of like to make it more or less a series. So if you have a name for that series, I would appreciate if you would leave that comment and recommend something. Uh, that would help me out a lot. I don't, I don't have anything witty to call it. So if you have something witty, please leave that. If you think there's another secret path somewhere, please leave that. I hope everybody learned something, and like always, thank you for watching.